Today's forecast in the desert. Heavy rain and thunderstorms. Very unusual for the desert because usually we don't see much of this kind of rain in the desert. And here's why. Because this Pokemon. That's Thunderous. Level 40. Electric flying type. I don't even care what the moves are. Now this is the best time to use the Master Ball. Because it's the only roaming Pokemon in the game. And with that, we get it. Alright, I had to cheat to get Tornadus too, but using the Tornadus cheat and the cheat to get the Liberty Pass, those are going to be the only two cheats I use. Just so I could be able to get another legendary Pokemon much later on. Anyways, with that out of the way, how we doing folks? Adam Smasher 93 here, and welcome back to Pokemon White. When we last left off, we went through Relic Castle for the last time and caught Volcarona. And what we did, we went we went to, to hear the story of Thunderous. And we go. We went ahead and caught it. All right. With that out of the way. Oh yeah, we also caught the fifth of the sages that were on the loose. All right. There's gonna be a lot of Pokemon here. All right, I'll battle ya. I did some off-screen training. All my Pokemon are now level 65. So what I'm going to do for from now on every every day when I'm off screen so I'm going to train alright while that frog Pokemon is there in this place there are a lot of new Pokemon um let me see go ahead and just I'm gonna go ahead and send Archeops out. Like I said, there's a lot of new Pokemon we could discover in this place. The first two I want to talk about are Goldeen. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk about those. I want to talk about the Unova Pokemon first. If you're playing Pokemon Black, you would find Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz as a Pokemon. This is more meant uh, for defense, but it's not a bad flying type. I even used it once. It's not bad. Although, in Pokemon White, you will find Braviary. Let me tell you this. Braviary is a is more geared for attack. And I recommend this bird a little more. And I have a plan on using this one for my team for Pokemon White 2. Because holy crap, it'll have its hidden ability, ability Defiant, which when its stats gets lowered, its physical attack goes up. Anyways, got those out of the way, the rest of them are non-Unova Pokemon. The first two I want to talk about are Goldeen and its evolved form Seeking. Now these two aren't really that bad of Pokemon. Although, I'll, would I recommend them? Uh, not really. There are some better water types out there. Like Weasel and its evolved form. Sorry about that. Floatzel. Now, these two are fast water types. And if they have the ability Swift Sun, they become even faster in the rain. So you can, like, bypass speeds like Scallopede or Amalga. You name them. Okay, next Pokemon you can find is Golduck. Now, Golduck, it has a base stat of 500. And the total, I mean. And the stats are really balanced. Its best stats, though, is special attack. Which is kind of unusual for a Pokemon that has, like, claws. But hey! 
Not a bad Pokemon. I think that I got all the water types out of the way. Next two Pokemon you can find. Gligar and its evolved form Gliscor. Now, these are two Pokemon that are meant for physical defense, which is kind of unusual because they're based off of Scorpions. But hey, these are pretty good Pokemon if you ask me. And you can find Gliscor in the rustling grass. The next Pokemon you can find is Zangoose. Zangoose. This is great with physical attack. And I recommend you teach this thing Crush Claw because there's a 50% chance you could lower its attack. Oh, hello. Anyways, Zangoose, great Pokemon. I would recommend it. Another good Pokemon I can recommend is its Sapphire counterpart, Seviper. Now, Seviper is considered a double-edged sword because it's good with physical and special attack. And if you want a good poison type, Survivor is one of your Pokemon you would want to go with. Next Pokemon, oh, I think that's it. Oh wait, there is one more I forgot to mention. Next Pokemon, last Pokemon you can find in this place is Bisharp. Bisharp is a Sword and Shield Pokemon. It's great with physical attack and it's also decent with physical defense. This is a Dark Steel type, meaning it has a lot of resistances. Even though it has just a few weaknesses, but it does include a double weakness to fighting attacks. But hey, Bisharp's a good Pokemon to have. Alright, enough of me chattering about that. Alright, let's explore this place. I'm gonna go up here and see what we can explore. Ow! Oh, what do you want? Oh, hey, Weasel. Unfortunately, I don't have time right now. Could you leave me alone, please? Thank you. I'll pick up this, which is TM50, which is overheat. Now, this I would recommend using only as a last resort. I don't think there's anything important down there. Although, wait a second. I think I might have sensed a hidden item. Ow! Hang on. Hi, Zangoose! Can you just go away, please? Thank you. Uh, can I get it through this with a wild another random encounter? You know what? This might help. Give me a little super repel. There it is! Ah, oh, rustling grass. Not interested right now. Alright, I'm just gonna say, down there, you can find... Ooh, right down there. It's Russell, is the... Uh, let me just get that real fast. Ah! I'll bow ya! Alright, bring it! 
Okay, Dugong. We'll go ahead and bring out... Electros for this one. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Just use a useless crunch attack. I'm gonna go ahead and do a Thunderbolt. Alright, we're good to go. Ooh, Pinsir! You know what? Say hi to my good friend Chandelure. Alright, let's go then. Go ahead and do a flame burst. What the? Rude! You know what? You're gonna do that? I'll do that too. Two can play that game. Alright. Now say hi again to Electros. I'll just do that to you. Yeah, how do you like that? Taste of your own medicine. So now you're bringing back out the pincer. Now I got my chandelure. Okay. Now I could go through this uninterrupted. Thank you. Alright. Finally we can continue on. And he gives us a lepa berry. That is the protector. If you trade Rhydon with this item. You will have a great Pokemon known as Rhyperior. Okay. Go ahead and go up this waterfall. Alright, finally back in the main path. And now we go through here. The village bridge. Alright, I'm trying to find a peeling. Alright. Is there a house I could use? Anyways. In this place, there's two more new Pokemon. And those two are Carvana and its evolved form Sharpedo. Now, these are some pretty good... Now, these are some... Oh, let me just get the Sharpedo... Uh, Carvana and Sharpedo... Ugh! Choking on my words here today. I'll just save that. Now, this place... If you, bat you battle this person... You will be able to... After you battle, you have to get these orders in to, at the right place at the right time. You have to, you can work part time and get the orders out. And if you're able to do that, you will get a Lumberry. I will go ahead and do that off screen. Oh, this is a, okay. All right, going back to Sh Carvana and Sharpedo. Now these two Pokemon are great Pokemon. They are basically double-edged swords and great and also very fast. However, they are kind of glass cannons, so they can take, they can do a lot of damage, but they can take just as much. Go ahead and flame burst the Amoongus. Oh, you know what? Speed running. Oh, 
Oh, I like that technique. Oh, we got Survivor. Let's send out Archeops. I'll go ahead and do an acrobatics. And down you go. Ooh, Ekans! Alright, I'll still use acrobatics. Down you go. Which Pokemon do you have? Okay, one more Pokemon. And down you go. Alright! Now with that out of the way... We're gonna need... Oh! Oh, I forgot! There's another new Pokemon here and it's what you see right there! That Pokemon is Beebrel. Now Beebrel is more meant to be an HM slave, like like Raticate, Watchhog, you name them. Do I recommend this Pokemon for battle? Not really. So I'm gonna go say and say pass on this one. Ah, oh, look at that! He's playing some music. Oh, come on! Oh, hey there, Braviary! How's it going? Wish I had time to chat with you, but unfortunately I don't have time, so... Sorry about that, but I might have you for my team for my White 2 Let's Play. Just gonna explore the place. Okay, that's done and out of the way. And this, you can also see it. Alright, I think you're supposed to go in here. I will look for a new start. Patar and I can do it together. Thank, thank you, Village Branch, for making us who we are. And farewell. <laughs> I like that. Uh. Now, where can I go see them? Oh, it's on a different bridge. We'll see that. Okay. Just gonna move on forward. All right. There's so much Pokemon to, to, to learn. So many new Pokemon. So little time. Wouldn't you agree? All right, what do I want to do? What to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do. Ooh, I'll just pick this one up. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna backtrack. I won't show any of the new Pokemon until the next episode, I'm just gonna backtrack. Also, I wanna go see a show. Let me go ahead and heal up. Cause 
I definitely need it. Oops. Can't be hitting my mic there like that. Alright, just gonna go through in here to the battle subway. Where is the marvelous bridge? That's why I heard where it was. Oh, I'll be right there. And not not to worry, we will see that show later on. Hello. I won, then I lost. Gear Station has trains where you can battle other trainers, the battle subway. You're a trainer, aren't you? Please just accept this without a word. Alright. She gives us a versus recorder. If you have a versus recorder, you can record battles with friends or on the battle subway. Anyway, this woman of mystery will go somewhere. That's right. She'll go to the Battle Institute. Okay. Which train was it? This is for single battles. Now this one is super single trains. Doubles. Supers. This is the train we want to go to. Multi. Just a bunch for battles, but this one? We want to board. Would you like to board the train to Anvil Town? Alright, there's not much significance in there, just except for a few things. I'm just gonna go there real quick. Beautiful tune is spreading throughout the town. Oh, are you also curious about that train? Alright, let me explain. As you know, this is a local train to Anvil Town. Isn't it just so cute? Wait, what? This one is a little slow and heavy. Runs, the whole train sways. The train car is the same model as a single train, because it is an old train car. I hear the ma maintenance is hard, but it's the one I always ride, because I loved it as a kid. Okay. Let's see which house is it. Uh, nope. I want to go to this house. Oh, what a f with a face like that, I'll bet you're a Pokemon trainer. I work at a, as a depot agent on the Battle Subway. Have you tried challenging the Battle Subway yet? It's a hot spot for those who want some serious battling action. But some people get too wrapped up in their battles and there's no end to the lost and found items. That's right, nobody ever came to pick this up, so I'll give it to you. She gives us a rare candy. No worries, no worries, just take it. It's better for a trainer to use it than for me to hold on to it. I'm sure the item is happier too. Well, I don't usually use rare candies. I just train against other trainers. Anyways. That will pretty much do it for this episode. So, kind of a short episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, I'm AmSmasher93, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. We will continue on the route. Yeah, choking on the words today. We'll continue on Route 12 and see what we do from there. See you guys later.